Hi, my dear subscribers, once again, uh, today is a kind of special case that uh, can show uh, in new video clip what all those uh, marketing uh, or let's say degreasers for the bicycle industry is uh, hiding uh, behind the walls. So uh, this is the case of the Shimano M, M, uh, what the M395 series, uh, and the client was complaining that uh, since from the new bicycle the the rear brake was having a problem that uh, the lever just suddenly became empty like um, there is no oil inside. Of course, uh, the first procedure what was done is behind the brake pads. Uh, we put some kind of uh, tissue and uh, during the uh, pressing the brake it was obvious that the oil was coming out uh, between the uh, caliper uh, housing and uh, piston. The piston uh, looked quite normal not having any uh, damage but uh, when when this was uh, reassembled uh, and opened, uh, even in here you can see on the color uh, side, it's like aluminum start to erode. Uh, from the inside, in here if it's, well, uh, you can see very, very uh, damaged layer uh, or the seal bed. So why this happened? Basically he he said that yeah after a while he decided to clean the bike and he uh, used the uh, Makov products which should supposed to be uh, normal for uh, use in any uh, bike uh, cleaning procedure. So I was just wondering <clears throat> Perhaps even in, in, in the rubber, uh, maybe it's not so well uh, seen, maybe on this one. Uh, even on the rubber, uh, it's not smooth surface in here. You can see some uh, <coughs> relief uh, traces of erosion. Uh, but anyway, I'm not saying that those Makov products, products will destroy your bike, but what I can say that probably a lot of customers who buy that, they don't read the instructions. Maybe he applied uh, that degreaser on this uh, brake caliper and leaving it for too long because maybe, I don't know precisely how long, maybe after five minutes you need to wash out, maybe you need to wa uh, use warm water, not cold, and maybe this was on the on the caliper much more longer so you can see the damage uh, basically to this caliper there is no help anymore the only thing that could save a little bit of lifespan of this uh, brake caliper is that you basically glue inside with some kind of uh, oil resistant glue so you can kind of fill those empty gaps between the seal and the seal bed to hold the pressure uh, otherwise this is uh, it would be too much uh, cost if you want to fix this uh, to increase the diameter it's basically it's possible to increase the diameter of of the uh, seal bed and then use bigger seals with the same internal diameter it is possible but I believe that for 20 bucks or 25 bucks you can get a set of of these calipers but this is just the uh, the case that you can see how these degreasers are very toxic despite the manufacturers will say yeah okay it's uh, it's biological it's not uh, harm the environment and so on but in general you know every person is different some people read the instructions some people even don't care about the instructions they they don't even know it exists or they need to read, they think, okay, I know, you just apply and that's it and wash away. 
So I would recommend to all users who are using the any kind of degreasers that better protect the calipers with some kind of plastic bag or maybe a shower cap uh, just to prevent something like this. The caliper you can clean with the toothbrush, some old toothbrush and you can brush all the rust or dirt away. Uh, you can also use some kind of um, let's say very cleaner if there is some uh, oil uh, contamination or something or just put the brake pads out and that's it. But uh, in, in terms of this was basically taken from a new bike. Maybe the bike have I don't know 300 kilometers on the mountain bike <laughs> and you can see how uh, damaged everything is and when I when I said to the client uh, that uh, basically he didn't tell me what he did with the bike the story about this is basically uh, I had to I had to uh, know the story before this happened because he said yeah um, you know I didn't do anything I just use it and I said did you use any degreasers did you clean the bike did you do any kind of uh, uh, procedure on the calipers he said no no he maybe just uh, clean once or twice uh, during that 500 300 kilometers and that's it and I said okay so what did you use he said yeah Makov products okay I said obviously uh, that that product can make a damage like this because otherwise only some acidic uh, degreasers could do the damage because from here you can see it's it's from the inside it could be possible <clears throat> it could be possible that uh, even the wrong oil if it would be installed in the caliper uh, should make a damage like this with a lot of sulfur inside could cause eroding aluminium and uh, eventually the color as well so guys be careful when you use something like uh, uh, this man did it uh, be, be, be patient and please uh, if you want to extend your uh, product lifespan uh, just protect with the plastic bag and then wash up uh, thanks for watching and see you soon bye